Good afternoon, everyone. It's Lisa from Lisa's um, Lisa Ashton Psychic Medium Channel. I'm going to do the tarot reading, the daily tarot reading for everyone today. And um, the energies are really nice. We still have our moon in Virgo. I mean, moon in Taurus. So it's a nice, it's a softer, gentler moon. A um, lot of stuff happening in the world around us. A lot of angry people I'm finding, even myself, it's very easy to get to that short fuse really, really quick. And I have to pull myself back and not react. So that's what I'm recommending that all of you still do this week, because um, at, towards the end of the week, as all these other planets are starting to come out of their retrograde, we're going to find um, an increase in that frustrating um, emotions or, or feelings. And um, so right now is kind of the calm before the storm, I like to say. So Let's see what kind of day it is for you. We're going to pull um, some cards, check it out, see what it's like. And I'm really glad you're here. If you haven't already done so, give me a thumbs up, please. And subscribe below and hit the notification button. That way you'll know when I come on for any live readings, which I'll probably end up doing tomorrow, I would imagine. And um, I try to do that a few times a week so that I can answer questions people have about what's happening. Um, pull some cards if they want that kind of thing. So I like to try to do that. So the notification bell is specifically so that you'll be able to be notified when I do come on live. Also down below is my website, northernlights.one, where you can come on and, and or go to the website and my phone number is there and you can uh, talk to me about setting up or scheduling for a private appointment if you would like for either a tower reading, a psychic medium reading, um, talk to your loved ones, that kind of thing. And right below that is a PayPal me button, donations of love. And some of you have been very generous. So thank you in, in donating um, funds towards um, me purchasing a new microphone and some new cards that I'm going to be using today. Um, the Gilded Tarot, the Enchantment of Wonder, things like that. And it really helps me keep my channel moving slow, moving nicely so that you can enjoy it. So thank you very much for, for being so supportive. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below. I always answer every comment that I get. And uh, let's get started. Am I all right? So I'm going to start with the Wisdom Oracle deck today. And what I want to do is pull three cards for kind of for the collective and, and see where we are energy-wise. Remember, that's basically what I'm doing when I pull these cards every day is I'm pulling the energy that's around each of the signs. doesn't mean it has to work out that way exactly for you, okay? Remember, no matter what, you always have free will. So you can change anything that I pull. This isn't set in stone. This isn't, gosh, this is the future that I'm predicting. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So I'm basically just looking at the energy that's around you and around the collective. And once I look at the energy, um, then we have a chance to really, um, find out what's going on. And then you get the decision of, do I want to, you know, stay in this energy? Do I want to change it? Remember so much frustration going on right now. It's really a good time to, um, take a sip back and, and, um, and kind of just go with the flow. I'm pushing you back further here a little bit. Um, go with the flow so that, um, you don't respond or react to anyone's aggravation. That's the best way to put it. Because like I said, I found myself this morning responding and I thought, oh, I've been telling people not to do that and here I go. So, I mean, I think it's important to um, just be aware that it's out there, okay? And I'm gonna pull the camera down. Stay till the end, please, because at the end I do the five minutes of Reiki healing and I will definitely be doing that today, okay, to help you. Okay, the first card we get right off the bat, um, for the collective is time to go. So this really tells me that this could be about so many different things. Literally, it could be time for you to leave um, either a relationship, a job, whatever. That literally could mean that. It could also mean time to let go, okay? We just finished a full moon um, in Aries and it was a really good time to let go of emotions or things that we were feeling that we no longer needed, okay? And that's what this card could be saying as well. When we draw the individual cards, we'll get a really good feel for what that card means. This is chaos and conflict. I really feel like this is the energy that's out there with everything that's happening politically, with everything that's happening um, with COVID. I mean, I just feel like we're 2020 has been a year of chaos and conflict. And I think it's kind of just sitting. You notice the horse isn't going anywhere. There's no movement. We're kind of stuck in this energy, if you will. So being stuck doesn't mean you can't make changes and move, okay? But the collective energy is kind of the energy that's out in the universe is kind of one of just being stuck. 
The final one is Treasure Island. Lovely card to have because it usually means money, abundance, um, abundance of good health, abundance of finances, abundance of destiny, abundance of good relationships. It's a really nice card. So as we pull more ca more cards, uh, these are for the collective. But as we pull more, more I can't even speak this morning. I've got to slow down. That's all Mercury retrograde coming up here. That affects me as a Virgo um, next week. So slow down, take a deep breath. And as we um, really take a look at the individual cards for each sign um, and for each um, we'll get a better feel for how these cards fit in. Okay, so let me shuffle these cards. These are the Gilded Tarot, Enchantment of Wonder. Um, thanks to some of your donations, I was able to purchase this deck, which I'm really enjoying. I love the pictures, and I think the messages really speak to me. And I hope they um, have been giving you good readings as well every day when I've been using them. Well, every day this week I've been using them anyway. The weeklies for the entire week for each of the elements in each of your signs under the element, like air signs, Aquarius, um, Libra and Gemini, etc., Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. The weekly signs for this week are all up. I'll be putting up new ones for next week. And the monthlies for the month of October for each individual sign are also up, and you can find those listed here on the website as well. So let's separate these cards and see what we get here. We're going to start with Aquarius and see where we go from there. So Aquarius, I have the Nine of Pentacles. Lovely card to start with. This really tells us um, this treasure island has reached you, my friend. Aquarius, this is the card of, of satiation. This is the card of um, having everything you want monetarily or abundance in in destiny abundance and love abundance and riches i'm really drawn to the greens in this card which tells me that we're talking about finances so maybe you're feeling very settled in your finances today um, and there's no need to worry about anything which is a great place to be um, so that's a wonderful card to get aquarius psychically i'm hearing um, don't be surprised if somebody asks you for a loan or for some money so um, just be on your guard obviously you have free will to do whatever it is you wish to do, but just be careful of who you lend your money to is what the angels are telling me, is what I'm hearing psychically, okay? So let's see, um, next we have Libra. Libra, we have the Nine of Wands, okay. The Nine, again, we've, this is the second Nine where we come to fruition, where we come to the end, right? He's building, he's been building. Look at how much he's built behind him, right? in his career. This is usually related to career and material things. So look how hard he's worked, Libra. Look how hard you've worked um, maybe all this week, maybe all last week, maybe a project that you've been working on is coming to fruition, but you finally got the nine of pen, of wands. You're finally at the at the completion stage and tomorrow the ten um, you know the ten of wands would be the final outcome. Um, so look at how nice they're standing. Look at the project you've done. Really pat yourself on the back because you've done a great job. And, I, and I'm and i hearing psychically you're going to get some accolades. You're going to get some attaboys or some people that, that you work with really saying, gee, you've done a great job with this. Um, so you should be proud of yourself. Okay, Libra, that's a really nice card to get. Gemini, we've got the Ten of Wands. We were just talking about the fact that we had the Nine of Wands. And here's the outcome card. Right now, although you've planted all the seeds and you've gotten to past the nine of wands, right? And you've gotten everything you've wanted. Um, you're carrying this burden now all by yourself on your back and you don't need to, okay? You can ask for help. You can ask somebody for help. And and I feel like, uh, Gemini, this is part of the Mercury that retrograde that's coming into focus next week because Geminis and Virgos are ruled by the planet of Mercury. A lot of confusion, sometimes miscommunication. This can be a card of you not feeling, being a little bit prideful and not feeling the need to ask for help. And this card is a reminder to you, you do not need to carry this whole burden of this Ten of Swords on your back alone. Okay, you may have finished this project and it may be yours and you may own it and feel wonderful about it. But the point is you don't need to carry the burden of it anymore. Let it go. Share it with someone. Okay, don't be hesitant to ask for help today if you need it. Going into earth signs, we have Capricorn, the world, lovely. So the world is really um, the pinnacle of all the cards in the deck, the world and the star to me. Um, this is reaching your goal. Look at the the, um, the wreath of success around you. This is where you want to be. This is where you've ended up. This is where you've worked so hard to get to. So don't diminish the fact that, that I'm trying to find the place that doesn't have that glare. So 
hard to do. Um, this, because I have two big French doors out here that are bringing in a lot of sunlight. Um, this is all, everything you've done, you've worked hard and the universe is repaying you. Maybe you've manifested like crazy. Maybe you've um, manifested abundance, right? With Treasure Island, maybe abundance in health, abundance in wealth and goodness and family, everything. But but all everything you've brought to fruition is here in the world. So you're sitting pretty. You're sitting exactly where you want to be. So enjoy the day. It's your day, Capricorn. Nice card. Virgo, I've got the Three of Swords. Three of Swords can often mean a heartbreak, something standing in your way of feeling really good, maybe about a relationship or about a career. More times than not, the Three of Swords to me is about relationship. So there may be a relationship in your life where you're feeling like um, either stuck or that it's not moving quick enough or it's not moving in the direction you want it to. Um, hold on one second. I don't want to lose the light here. Okay, that should be better. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, so so definitely know that this could be a heartbreak if you let it be one or a setback of some kind emotionally. So um, maybe it's you're not talking to a family member or there was some miscommunication. Um, don't forget we are in the pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde next week, which is all about miscommunication or emails that somebody took the wrong way or a text that somebody took the wrong way. You know, it's always better to call and talk in person um, to hear the inflections in people's voices so that, so that we don't misunderstand the way someone's trying to talk. Um, this could be as easy as a misunderstanding. It could also be some heartache and some heartbreak. I don't feel like it's anything dire or anything you need to worry about, but I think it may pop up today, Virgo, so you may need to take a look at it, okay? Next card we have is Taurus. Taurus, we have the Ten of Cups. Look at that. The Ten of Emotions. Beautiful card. You've reached the fruition. Look at the rainbow on the top. You've reached the finality. You've reached the place to celebrate. Look how calm the waters are. Cups are all about waters and emotions. Everything's going your way. The cards I've been pulling today, it's the energy is beautiful when, when the moon is in Taurus. It's just a very calm energy, and that's what I'm feeling with most of these cards. Um, this is a beautiful card. You've got everything in front of you that you could possibly want emotionally, right? You're feeling very connected to the people around you. You're feeling like there's a lot of love in your life. Um, and that's and that's wonderful. So I hope you can enjoy that today, Taurus. Next card we're pulling for the water signs. We have Cancer, the Ace of Swords. Swords are the cards of truth. And the Ace could just be cutting through somebody's bulk crap basically if you want to put it out there right it's really paying attention to to what's being presented to you because the truth is coming out maybe there are some things that you're finding out that you didn't you really didn't know anything about maybe this is you putting out the truth and finally um announcing something that you've been wanting to announce for a while um either way it's the beginning okay it's it's what's coming up what's coming forward we're looking forward the ace is the beginning of it the ace of wands is the beginning of telling the truth or the beginning of things that are, need to come to the surface and be told okay cancer so so be on your mind or be mindful i should say today of the truth coming out or of you needing to tell the truth um i think that's important scorpio let's see the card we have for scorpio strength card gorgeous um, she's standing next to the lion. She's true to herself. She's standing in her own power. Look at all the oranges, the, the sacral chakra and the yellows, the solar plexus. Um, she's feeling really good about whatever's happening today. Um, she's feel, feeling very strong. Even if people come at her um, with any objections or with anything that she needs to counteract, it's okay. You got this. Um, you've got this, Scorpio. There's nothing that's going to slow you down today. This is your day, and this is your day to stand it's to stand in your power and know that anything you do is um, you're you're large and in charge, so to speak. Um, you're the person that um, that people are going to come to for advice. You're the person that people are going to feel um, understands everything that's going on around them. So enjoy this day. It's a, it's a wonderful day for that Scorpio. Pisces, I have the King of Swords. Again, truth. But he's look at the way he's sitting on his throne. He has one of his swords pointing down as if he's not ready for battle. But he has one that's pointing up, and that's the one I'm drawn to. So he is ready for battle. So all these truths that are coming out around him, he is the king. He is the noble one. He is sitting on his throne. 
Um, but he is ready to battle if need be, if somebody stirs trouble or gives him too much trouble. So I would say take a look at this card and walk away and don't activate anything that you don't need to activate. Don't react to someone that's trying to stir the pot or get you in a way or get you in a mood that's, um, that is not a positive mood, okay? This could also uh, you know, represent the fact that it is a strong-willed man in your life, a man that's coming in to, to kind of take over a situation or to tell the truth or um, to lead the way um, and be of great strength and power to you. So it could represent either or, but um, I think Pisces, this is a really nice, it's, it's good. So be on your toes is what I always like to say with the swords. Be on your toes. Doesn't mean it has to happen. You always have free will, but either a man is coming in who's very strong and powerful to help you, or you need to be on your toes if someone comes at you with the truth that you don't quite know how to defend, okay? So just be aware of that and um, react accordingly or don't react. I guess that's the whole point. Try to go with the flow and not um, not stir the pot any more than this person is already trying to stir, okay? Fire signs for Aries have the five of pentacles. This is like in the Rider weight deck where you see the people walking outside and one has a crutch and they see the stained glass in the window in the church, but they're not going inside. It's it's considered the card of, of poverty or lose, losing something, loss. Um, this card represents itself very, very differently in the Gilded Tarot deck, right? They they look like they're discussing. How are they going to get inside? How is it going to you know help them? Um, yes, they have you know, maybe they're downtrodden a little bit and, and they don't have everything they want, but the window's right there. They have to just go around the corner and go inside and reach everything they want with the Five of Pentacles. So money, um, this could be about maybe you just counting your, your pennies today. Maybe today's a little bit tight. It could also be about um, you really seeing the big picture and getting out of your own way. Okay, and noticing that, gee, this light is there shining for me to go in and see what's going on, right? Let's go in and take a peek, see if it's something better than what we're facing right now. So again, you always have free will. Just remember that. But fives can be, um, you know, about, about the loss, not paying attention to what's around you. There is goodness. There is opportunity. And this, this stained glass window is definitely showing it, you that good an opportunity. So take advantage of it. Look at the bigger picture. Okay, Aries? Leo, let's see what you have. The Ace of Pentacles. So the beginning, here's the beginning of uh, a new journey towards this ab abundance, towards manifesting, right? This is a day you can do a lot of manifesting. So it's a journey. The Ace is always a new beginning. So it's a new beginning leading you towards um, abundance in finances, abundance in love, abundance in destiny, abundance in good health. Um, very grounded. Look at all the animals around. This is all you know, grounding yourself with energy. You're not in your head at all today. You're very, um, you have a really good perspective on things, um, Leo. So you don't really need to um, worry that much about what's coming your way. Just enjoy it and know that something new is beginning for you. Okay. Sagittarius, we have the justice card. So Sagittarius, this could be looked at in many, many ways. It could be your connection to a Libra because look at the weight, the, the Libra scale that's there. It could mean all that glitters is gold, which is what we got at the beginning with the treasure island, remember? It could mean that all everything that is coming your way, so pay attention to that, all the gold that's in this card. It could also mean justice, really divine justice. Something is coming to fruition, something that karmically that you've, you've kind of created, good or bad, is coming your way today. Um, and it can also mean court, it could mean contracts, it could mean so many different avenues, so many different things. So um, however it applies to you, Sagittarius, I feel like you're sitting pretty. Look how she's sitting on her throne and it's all golden around her. So no matter how this comes up justice-wise, no matter how this card is looked at, all the different ways we just talked about, I still feel like it's going to be fine for you. It's not anything to worry about, okay? Even if you have to go to court for something, it, you will be successful. So really pay attention to that, but I think that's wonderful. Okay, guys, those are great cards. I mean, I really feel like today, energy-wise, is a really wonderful energy card. I mean, a really wonderful energy day. Um, let's pull the screen back up. I am going to find the Reiki music, and uh, let's listen to a little bit 
and I'll send you some Reiki, which I love to do. Um, Reiki helps with healing. It helps with organizing your thoughts. It helps with um, so many connection of your chakras, um, so many different things. So it's definitely worth looking at here. Hold on, here we go. Okay. So enjoy, open your crown chakra on top of your head, picture like a flower that's opening and you're letting all this beautiful white light energy come in. Almost like a fog that's filling your head and your neck, your shoulders and arms, your chest, coming down to your abdomen, your pelvis, both of your legs, and you're just kind of floating while you listen and let yourself to sing like this. It's beautiful. I want you to be able to hold on to this Reiki energy today. Keep it within you and feel the light whenever you're making decisions, right? Going with the flow as opposed to reacting. I hope you all have a wonderful day and uh, I look forward to seeing you live probably tomorrow. And uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and um, subscribe and please send it to your friends so that they can also join us. Take care and have a wonderful day.